Okay, hi guys. Um, video 58. Uh, it's, it's been a while since the last one, I, I know that, but um, uh, what I'm going to try and show today is using the latest version of uh, Xface Forensics, which is 19.6 at the moment. Um, is a, a little trick that might save people a little bit of time when, they, when they're dealing with uh, cases that might be uh, been reviewed by lots of people. Um, and that is involving the report table associations and uh, the fact that you can actually uh, save lists and re-ingest them into uh, new uh, for new users basically to save you retyping it so I'll, I'll show you how to do that so um, I'm just going to quickly create a new case and uh, add an image to it uh, quite a lot of graphical stuff has been added uh, to the latest version of X-Ways um, which I assume is to make it a little bit easier for people to uh, use or uh, move from other tools. Um, so I'm just going to quickly load this image in. This is the standard uh, uh, image that uh, the guys at XYZ let me use. Um, so I've just created a new case, added an image to it. Um, obviously normally we would go through a whole uh, rack of things on here. Uh, choosing all the various options. This current form of the volume snapshot refinement uh, was changed a while ago, maybe a couple of years ago. Um, it used to be more central, um, but there's obviously more features been added and it's got to the point where it's had to change the layout, so um, that's okay. Uh, so X-Ways will now just quickly rattle off and uh, do what you would do with a normal image as part of a normal case. Um, exactly which options you chose would depend on your circumstances. Um, but there it is, it's finished. So uh, I've got uh, some objects in there and my data in there. Um, so if I just uh, go and find some, I know, some pictures here uh, and recursively explore. So uh, what I'm going to do is create for the first time a list of report table associations in here. So um, you might have things that are uh, private and confidential. Uh, and you might have stuff that is legally privileged. You might have things that are pictures of person A. And pictures of person B. And uh, I don't know, documentation relating to company A. And so on. So I've got a relatively short list there, um, but that was enough to be irritating if I had to retype that uh, perhaps a dozen times for a dozen people that might be reviewing this uh, particular system. Um, so uh, what you, what I didn't know for quite a long time actually, and it was a colleague of mine that uh, pointed it out, is you can actually save this list and re-ingest it into other cases perhaps you know you you might have a dozen forensic images um, for a particular uh, scenario that you're having to deal with um, and you might want these same report table associations for all of them um, and you don't want to have to retype them all so you'll notice down here look there's a, an open file dialog button and a save dialog button so if I just um, save that in here where is that? Uh, just to check. Okay, so um, uh, report tables A. I'm just going to call it like that. Uh, oh, sorry, just remembered. Uh, that will save the individually highlighted one. If you want the whole list, you have to use shift and the cursor keys to do them all. 
So I'll just save that again. And it says five selected items uh, save effectively. Um, so now if I just delete all of those for a moment, and let's pretend this is another forensic image uh, with an entirely different XY forensics case in it, uh, what I can now do having uh, brought up the table association dialog window is click that button, the, uh, the open file dialog button, and uh, if I just, oh yeah, it remembers that that's probably because I've done it on this particular machine. If you were doing it on a different machine, that probably it would probably not know that obviously. Um, but uh, my file should be in there somewhere. There it is. So I'll just click open to that, and it will pull them all in, which is uh, really quite useful. You know, you could have lists here of potentially dozens of report tables. Um, another thing to point out, which is also quite useful, is you'll notice when you individually select one of these, you get this little uh, description window pop in, which allows you to type things about each association. Oops. Uh, lost my mouse, there it is. Uh, and it appears there. So when you click off and click on, it will show you. Uh, which is quite useful if you're, you know, if you've created really short, non-descriptive report table associations uh, for whatever reason, and you perhaps want to add some detail there to them. Um, and then the stars here, again, this is a fairly newish feature of Xways Forensics, um, is uh, whether to include in case report or not. So if you toggle it off, then that one won't appear in the case report. Uh, legally privileged legally privileged for example you might not want to appear either so you will, you would do that um anyway uh, that's it it's, a, it's a, a useful little thing to to know about especially if you're dealing with large volumes of data potentially with large teams of people um but you want your review process to be relatively uh consistent throughout okay thank you